Bonjour tout le monde, qu'est-ce qui se passe Je suis ici, in front of the Arc du Triomphe. Arc du Triomphe, I hope I said that right. Uh, here in Paris, France right now. Here to talk to you today about a very important little piece of wisdom, and that is something that I've been thinking about a lot, uh, and I see obviously come up, it's extremely prevalent in every human being on the planet Earth, including myself and everyone else, and it's what is your story? What is it that you're telling yourself that's keeping you from doing the things that you want? What is the thing, what is the um, narrative that you have in yourself that says, I can't do this or that? And it's not just one narrative. It's not like, okay, I'm the king, I'm the knight, I'm the prince or whatever. It's not uh, simple. It's like, okay, I, today, you know, I'm, I'm the princess or, you know, I'm the slave. I mean, that can be the overarching narrative of what you think you are in certain scenarios and certain, uh, certain um, circumstances. But uh, often the, the narrative of things ends up coming at like a, uh, it, it, can, it can be situation to situation. Like for example, like you're in a relationship, you're like, oh, I'm always the person that gets broken up with. And that's your story on that. You know, you can say like, oh, I'm always last in line. That's another little tiny story, not nearly as important as say like, I never get what I want or I will never, never get what I want or I'm always the victim and I'm always gonna lose. Obviously, that's a much larger narrative that uh, obviously you can, uh, you can just go to a therapist and talk to them about it. Again, there's no guarantee that's gonna work, but my goal here is to just bring up uh, the idea of the narrative and the story. What is your story that you're telling yourself and why it's important to ask yourself that question and figure it out eventually anyway. I was working with a, uh, with a uh, lovely lady. She's uh, uh, an older woman and um, she was talking about how she wanted to travel to Asia. She wanted to travel to Vietnam and go to all these different places and see all these different things. Um, and uh, she, she never actually went there, but she talked about, you know, uh, how, how hard it would be to plan everything and how hard it would be to do everything. And uh, so she never actually went. She actually is still in that office, I believe. And she has been in that office for a, uh, a long time. Uh, she said she's been working that job for 30 years. Back in, when I was in SF, I was working a job uh, in the city. And uh, this woman uh, had been in this job for 30 years, basically, almost 30 years. 2829 something like that and um, yeah so for her the idea of actually going and traveling was so much uh, scarier and way worse than actually doing it for her she told herself that she didn't need to travel because if she just imagined it it was enough so that's kept her from doing the thing that she actually wanted to do in her case that would be her story at least with regards to that um, I mean I've got a million different stories man like uh, what's another story uh, I like to travel alone because it's easier and people follow me or people people don't, I don't have to wait for people. So that's like a story that I tell myself for why I don't travel with other people. Obviously there's a plenty of benefits to traveling with lots of other people. For example, um, the stories, the, the experiences you have, it, you contribute decisions, uh, you contribute to what you're going to do that day and like how pictures go and all sorts of things. There's so many benefits to it, but my story and the reason why I took the action of I'm gonna travel by myself is I like it better because of uh, those reasons like uh, I don't have to worry about anyone else and now obviously I don't have anyone else to worry about me so obviously there's pros and cons to you know every side of that coin so you know you can't can't always can't win it all so there's plenty of different uh, ways you can go about um, talking to yourself about what kind of story do you have in your head and what it is that keeps you from doing it a lot of people have a thing about travel like, I can't travel by myself Mine is almost the opposite. It's almost like, uh, oh, I have to travel by myself. That's like a, a story in the opposite direction. Uh, you know, you get people, oh, I can't quit my job because X, Y, Z. You know, and maybe those those are legitimate reasons. But I mean, we're at a we're in a weird place, and I don't know if anyone believes in quantum physics, but like you can basically make anything happen. And I'm believing that I'm almost becoming the planes exist, and planes were flying dragons in the sky like thousands of years ago, like that couldn't possibly happen but now we don't just fly we don't just fly on things that are like soft and feathery we fly in metal we take metal and we put it in the air because we understand things I'm of the belief now especially now that we're gonna go to Mars apparently Elon Musk is talking about going to Mars in like 2025 I'm of that belief that uh, you know we can pretty much humans at least I don't know I uh, can pretty much do anything and that's really just based on a function of time uh, so you know it's really about in my opinion it's really about the narrative, and uh, yeah. So with that said, as the tourists come in, I will uh, peace out here, and I'll see you guys next time.